Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking La Liga Weekend League Rewards Market today. We're getting, this is Thursday obviously, so it is Rewards Day. So we're getting lots of Weekend League Reward red picks. A lot of packs are being opened up. And of course, those guys that did get elite or higher in the Weekend League are getting their elite player picks, uh, which are going to make some interesting market movements for these team of the season la liga cards today on fifa as they get supplied onto the market so right now uh, i want to talk about what happened today or what happened technically yesterday with the guaranteed la liga SBC. what we saw happen with a lot of these cards and if you haven't bought any of them yet um what you could see and basically what we're expecting with the market today with rewards and also the content SBC stuff that's going to be happening today as well because it is thursday right last day of la liga team of the season and this is a this is a massive day this is like the biggest day of the week with the red weekend league rewards with the packs that everybody's going to open and then the upgrade packs thursdays are like the culmination of the entire week uh during a league and team of the season like this is the biggest day of the week with rewards with the upgrade packs and stuff like that so i want to talk about these card prices today the first one i want to talk about is Carvajal, because this card, I think, is going to make it into a lot of people's teams. Um, one of the most investable cards out of this team of the season, which I think will have the highest rise. Maybe not this week, but at least in a week to come. As you can, as you guys have known, a lot of these guys reach their lowest lowest out of the weekend, right? And we've kind of just had some upgrade packs, not a, lo lo not a lot else going on, and they've kind of risen up, right? So, when we got the guaranteed SBC, uh, Carvajal was like 280 to 290 all day, kind of chilling, right? Um, the guaranteed SBC came out. He boom, he bumped up to like 310,000 coins, and now he's been chilling around 300k the entire time. Basically, what happened today was people did the La Liga SBC guaranteed, uh, and what happened was they didn't get the card they wanted, so they went out and they bought it up. That kind of caused like a a quick little inflation in the market, right? Look at this Suarez card. I just looked at him on FIFA. He was 1.49 mil. This guy was 1.3 under 1.3 during the week. Today he was 1.3 in the morning, instantly to 1.4. Look at this buy the the amount of the buy up man after the SPC came out 1.44 all the way up. He was actually 1.6 mil right in this time frame today. 1.6 million coins and he's kind of tailed off since then and dropped a little bit lower. So a lot of people, when they don't pack these team of the season cards, they just end up going out and buying them. That's why I've told you guys a lot of the time that um, buying these cards before the guaranteed SBC is definitely the way to go. Griezmann was like nine, he was in the 900 case, I think today. He was over 900 K for a very short amount of time, I believe. Yeah, he, he was up here. He went from 790 up to 89. I did see him over 900 K at one point. Uh, Benzema was almost a mil. Sergio Ramos is over a million coins. Uh, De Young was at a million coins. This De Young card was like 890. Now he's up to 970, and he was over a mil earlier today. These cards with rewards on Thursday after the rewards. Again, what what we do see a lot of times when rewards is opened, world rewards are opened, is uh, we see a not a, a massive amount of panic, but a uh, a amount of listings. A very large amount of listings that come onto the market for these new cards in the first hour or so of the weekend league rewards. De Young right now is 960k. I'm recording this a couple hours, a few hours before weekend league rewards. You might see a little bit of a slide off as we head into weekend league rewards. And if you're going to be awake when those rewards come out, that is a decent time to be looking around the market for some of these team of the season cards in that first hour or two of rewards. Because what happens is these guys get packed. Uh, and, and people sell them from their elite packs, right? Fakir right now is 596. This guy was like 550 earlier this week. Uh, and even like yesterday, I think. Now the guy's 590k. He was 650 at one point. So a lot of these cards, if you haven't bought them yet, I think your buy time for these, uh, the La Liga team of the seasons is going to be uh, this morning during rewards. If that is an opportunity that you have to get on and to look at these cards around the rewards time frame, time frame, Carvalho Hall's 300k at the moment. Uh, that's, you know, you might see this guy dip 10, 15, 20k, uh, like really, really quick at the start of rewards during that first hour of rewards when they come out. And then when people don't pack the reds that they want with the La Liga cards that they want or in their elite pack, they go out and they buy these for their weekend league teams. Um, and we see them rise up in price. 
Now, I want to talk about when do you want to sell these cards too, because if we look back at last week with Team of the Season Premier League, these guys actually reached their highest after week in League Thursday, right? Because Thursday, a lot of coins are coming onto the market, right? A lot of the elite packs, I mean, the elite tier market is going to be getting a lot of coins. That's going to rise a lot of stuff up, right? These guys actually reached their peak Thursday night into Friday morning was the peak for most, if not all, of the Premier League cards last week. Is that going to be the same for La Liga this week? I think for most cards, it is. Some cards could still go higher Friday after the lightning rounds come out. I think Carvel Hall is just going to have a lot of hype uh, because of all the center back options that you have. Of course, getting green links to Ramos, to Varane, and then to the new Militao that a lot of people have done too. I'm, I'm a really big fan of this right back. Even after La Liga Tots is over, depending on what the next team of the season looks like, which is supposedly Bundesliga, we'll talk about that in this video too. Um, I do, I'm just a big fan of Carvajal. Really good card in game. I'm going to be rocking him this weekend in my team. Uh, and I think a lot of people need him to complete whatever sort of La Liga side they might have put together with some strong links. So I really am a, am a fan of this card. But um, I think for most of these cards, if you're going to buy them and you're just going to flip them, uh, if you're going to use them in your team, I would say, of course, you need to play weekend league with them, right? If you're going to buy these guys for the weekend, anybody from the squad, I think you want to buy it uh, either right before rewards um, or during the first hour of rewards. Because after that, they're going to rise up as people start buying teams. And then you're probably, if you're going to use in the weekend league, you want to sell it on Saturday at some point. Because I do think that some of these cards, depending on the price and depending on the amount of hype that the Bundesliga has on Friday, some of these cards could drop a little bit on the market. So that's kind of my thought around these. If you want to buy somebody like Odegaard or, or Cazorla or even Ter Stegen, a lot of people are going to get these guys in their red picks and in their elite packs. Like a guy like Odegaard, I would expect to go down a little bit and then take a little bit longer for him to rise just because he's going to be so common in those elite reward packs for Team of the Season Elite Plus polls. But I want to talk about the uh, out-of-pack specials as well, right? I guess technically Premier League Team of the Seasons are out-of-pack special cards now. I do expect some of these to rise. Some of them have risen already. Mane is up. De Bruyne is up. Van Dijk is up a little bit. Vardy is up a little bit. Uh, Trent is still low. Robertson is still low. Rashford is up a smidge, but the hype isn't really with these cards again. I mean, it's with La Liga mostly, but there's still people out there that have Premier League Reds that are still going to try to do some strong links with those cards. And that's why I recommend it to you guys, hey, make sure you don't just shy away from the only La Liga link investments this week. Maybe look into some Prem stuff as well, because I feel like Premier League still has a chance to do well. Uh, this weekend. Some of the out-of-pack special cards rose today as people bought stuff after the guaranteed, as I said yesterday too. A lot of people just base their week around that guaranteed TOTS SBC and you start to see stuff going up after that. That is exactly what I Some of the higher tier, uh, more meta cards definitely rose today. Um, you know, like Ribri's up 100,000 coins. This Vinicius, this Mendy is up 50k. If you look at the La Liga links, a lot of those rose today. So if you bought before the guaranteed SBC, that was a GG with those as well. Um, if you see anything that is kind of trickling back down or getting low before weekend league rewards, that could be a viable option for a buy and a flip. Uh, but other than that, I think you can still look across the market and look at Premier League, La Liga cards, special cards out of packs. Some of them are still low. And honestly, I think you can also start to take a look at Bundesliga specials because... Uh, I don't like buying Bundesliga specials that early, but with Bundesliga coming this weekend, oh, Emerson's 120, we love that. Uh, with the Bundesliga coming this weekend, I do think there's a possibility to start uh, seeing some of those Bundesliga specials, maybe not people rising as investing in them, but something, I mean, that's just something we need to get uh, start to get thinking about is what cards are we going to see rise uh, with the Bundesliga coming out with those types of cards. But again, La Liga specials, I'm going to show you my transfer list. I've got a lot of high rated that I sold today just to get them out of the club before rewards. I have a lot of a uh, La Liga specials, man. I got Valverde. I got Rod Rodrigo, Griezmann, a couple of his informs. Uh, and I have a bunch of Emersons I've got for an average of like 105,000 coins on most of these. Um, I got some Nelson Semedos at like 250. Bought these this morning. I have I got five Vinicius Juniors today. Right around 320k, like right when the SBC dropped, there was a little bit of panic selling on him. I got a Griezmann for 199. 
I really like the the cards that have a team of the season. This is something we saw really that, that was really prevalent with Premier League team of the season. A card that got a tots, the lower rated special cards below that team of the season rebounded really well the first weekend they were in packs and also uh, the second weekend as well. So that's why I bought some Griezmann. Uh, I like that one. And then, yeah, that's basically the, the gist. I've got, I got some right back Kappas as well. I feel like the right back position other than Carvajal is kind of not kind of weak, I guess, because if people are going to be linking, right, they've got the left back from Objectives and Berchiche, um, and there's not really too many elite left backs. You have like a road to the final Alba, uh, but this, I think a lot of people would use this Regulon instead of him. And then I feel like Carvajal is just a lot more enticing for a lot of those people's links, like to the new Militao and stuff like that, uh, which is, I just like the right backs because uh, I think those, there's a decent amount of rise in the right backs and also in Vinicius Jr. I think there's a lot of potential with that one. But again, today on the market, what you can expect to see is a rise in these team of the season cards. Again, these are kind of dropping a little bit. You know, there was a lot of the of hype and buy up right after the guarantee today, which I have not opened mine yet. I have it in the store right now. It's over here. But there was a lot of hype and buyback today. And then there was also um, just that's just kind of like sub subsided a little bit. So watch for maybe a little bit of, you know, panic before rewards, just a little bit. And then prices going up after week in league rewards. If you're trying to like sell your cards, like let's talk about, again, sell times for these out of pack specials, right? Like I got all of these Emersons. I've got all of these Valverdes, the Griezmanns. Um, I'm probably going to take the coins on a lot of this stuff um, Thursday night into Friday morning just so I can be liquid for Friday again to be able to make some moves uh, with Bundesliga team of the season. I'm probably going to try to ship a lot of this out. I really think that I am trying to ship a lot of this out by Friday morning uh, because I do think we're going to see a nice market rise today because, again, this weekend, this game is a weekend focused game a lot of people are on solely on the weekends maybe a little bit during the week and that's it uh and the hype really returns for the weekend league and for the new content drop on a friday and saturday and sunday with the new team of the season coming out so uh, definitely definitely consider that some cards might go higher friday night uh, you could definitely see some of that but i'm going to take the coins on most of my stuff i think um probably on thursday night after rewards today after we do see a decent market rise the only thing that would hinder a market rise today would be the new upgrade, the premium La Liga SBC upgrade pack that would be coming today. I know a lot of people have drained coins and done a lot of these La Liga upgrades and the 81 plus double upgrades. This is the best set of two upgrades we've had during the midweek, in my opinion, in, in between Premier League and between this. Uh, but the good, very craftable upgrade that just requires 11 rares is coming out today. So that's going to be a big hit today as well. You're going to see a ton of people opening packs. A lot of these team of seasons are going to get packed. Um, and it's just kind of like the last hype day for La Liga. You'll see people that, you know, get cards from rewards and go and try to do some of these packs. What that also means is I doubt many people will be going out and doing as much of the guaranteed 82 plus from La Liga. So if you got rare cards, right? If you got gold rares from La Liga and you have not taken the coins on those yet, how much are these cards selling for right now? How much are these selling for right now? What is, oh, wow. These guys are dropping a little bit maybe, or is that just an undercut? Yeah, these guys are dropping a little bit, bro. So these are like 100, 200 coins cheaper than what they were at their absolute peak. I think on like Tuesday night is when they hit a lot of these guys hit their peak. So it looks like the La Liga rares are going to come down. If you have not sold yours yet, I think I would get out before rewards because you're going to have tradable pack supply come on the market. And then more people are going to be uh, doing the, the new SBC instead of the 82 plus one because it'll be cheaper and it'll give you a 25k pack with three with all players La Liga. So that's something to think about. And I also want to talk about Bundesliga and start to talk about Friday. For the end of this video at the moment i think bundesliga rares are following a similar trend as what the la liga rares did right i think these guys are like 1.3 1.4k for most of these bundesliga rares uh and this is gaining more and more hype in the community i hear more and more people talking about buying rares all right buying rares and going on assigned on rares to make coins and also to do upgrade packs this is my thought with these cards if you are buying rares you're buying Bundesliga rares. I would do it on the weekend league during lightning rounds. I know that's when a lot of people are going to be buying, uh, but you might see the prices drop a little bit 
during that time frame, just a little bit. If you do it on like a Friday or Saturday, especially. Um, and the only reason that I would do it is I would do it if you're going to build packs. Uh, I think that there's going to be so much investing in these cards in the next for this Bundesliga week. I hear more and more people like seriously, I'm hearing Nepenthes talk about this. Um, of course, you have guys like Run the Foot Market who did this last week with thousands of cards unassigned. People saw what he was able to do with crafting upgrade packs and tons of people made coins from this last week. So they're going to try to do it again, right? It's like a lot of people investing in 83s. I know this is upgrade packs, so it's a bit different. But I would not be surprised if Bundesliga rares, when the upgrade packs come out on Monday, uh, if Bundesliga rares don't go too much above 2,000 coins. Um, so yes, you would still make some profit if you're buying at like 1.2 or 1.3K. But I would say if you can get these rares on the weekend for like less than 1.2K, like if you're trying to get some bids, like 1,000 coins, I would love to pay 1,000 coins for a lot of these. Uh, if you can get them then on the weekend league, like one one point two k at the very most, I would say, uh, because then the only problem is you're just running the risk that EA would change up whatever they're doing with the upgrade SPCs, and then you'd be like kind of screwed with your rares, right? Uh, but I just think there's going to be so many people that are buying rares that what what's going to happen is when Monday comes around and the SBC comes out for upgrades, you're going to have all these people that flood the market with rares, and it's really not going to cause the price to go up that much just because so many people are doing it. I still think the price would go up. And if you want to go unassigned with thousands of them um, to, to make packs, I'm fine with that. I'm considering doing that because on the weekend, what am I doing anyway? I'm not really trading. Uh, I'm just going to be playing weekend league with the squad and uh, playing games. I mean, that's all I really have time for on the weekends and maybe trying to mess around with a few of the new tots cards. Um, if I was trying to do that, I would just probably buy one or two of them and you can buy them from the active squad section so that they don't go to your unassigned, they'll pop up right in the squad. So, um, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll join some of you guys in going unassigned with the rare golds, or at least stocking my club this weekend. But I feel like if I do that, and I feel like the best and safest way for you guys to do this is only do that if you're going to um, if you're going to be making packs with the upgrades and go unassigned to make packs. That's the thing where you can save some money that way doing it. Um, if you're investing to make profit. You'll probably make profit. I'm not going to say don't do it. I'm just saying, uh, you know, buying bu buying this card at basically double what it usually is. You know, it's usually 700 coins. Buying it for double. If EA decides to change something up, then we are all absolutely screwed. So um, buying those cards for above 1,000 coins. That's my only uh, thing I don't like about this. And I've spoken about that almost every week. And I've spoken about it too long today. But regardless, those are my thoughts on Bundesliga. And again, I mentioned Bundesliga, right? Start to think about cards. As I mentioned, a lot of times what happens on the Friday when we have panic selling, right, is you see guys that get team of the seasons that have really juiced stats that come out with a new TOTS card. You see their special cards get panic sold a little bit, um, and then they have a really nice rebound after because what happens is people see like Timo Werner maybe gets a team of the season card. This is his next best card available on the market in FIFA, 89 rated inform, right? 200 and like 40,000 coin card. I got one today for 232 or something like that on my transfer list. Um, this is the type of card that if Timo's team of the season comes out and it's 1.8 million coins first day, and this card is 250,000 coins on Friday morning, this card might end up going up 100K because it just brings hype. If people are trying out the new Bundesliga cards, um, you're, we'll talk all about that stuff really in depth tomorrow. But this is what I would say. As you're watching the rewards market today, Look around at the Bundesliga specials. Notice which ones go up and then start to think about which ones could be good flips for tomorrow on Friday. And we'll talk about all of that tomorrow with the new league coming out. But again, Foot Champions Rewards, good luck if you're opening those today. I hope you get insane reds. I'll be opening packs tonight on stream. Link is down below in the description. I'll have my guaranteed pack, tons and tons and tons of upgrades, and then weekend league rewards as well. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.